Hey everyone, it's Chris here from Everyday Survival Gear, and today we're just going to go over a uh, difference between the Cree XPL2 and the Cree XPL. Um, right now, I'm outside running around my BLF A6, which I upgraded to a XPL2. Um, and I was actually surprised with how much brighter it is over the XPL. I never really bothered to update them because I figured that the XPL and the XPL2 are such close in output, but honestly speaking, they are nowhere next to it. Um, my BLF A6 is doing about 1550 lumens and this light right here is doing around about 2200. So not a massive, well it is a massive difference, but not like a astonishing difference. It's not like a thousand lumen difference, but that little bit extra does help quite, quite a lot. So um, they're both BLF A6 with BLF A6 drivers. Um, I put the reflector back in this one because before it didn't have the reflector in it. So yeah um, So I'll show you guys on full brightness. That's level 4 on the BLF A6 rubber level 5 So that's only level 6 and you can see that's already like bright as frig like lighting up my whole backyard That right there is already super bright and that's level 7 like I can see that, look at my neighbor's yard, the whole, their whole yard is lit up too. And then look at my yard, we'll go to the tree at 100 meters. Eh, it gets there but the reflector is pretty tiny so it's pretty hard. But that is super, super bright. Um, I'll put on my standard BLF A6 next and we'll see how that looks compared to this one. Okay, so this is the standard BLF A6. Um, the tints are a little bit different, this is my original one. It's got like a four and a half thousand K tint. The um, XPL2 actually has a neutral white tint, five thousand K, so a little bit different. Um, also, I think the XPL2 is only a V5 bin, and I think these XPLs are V6 bins. So this is a little bit higher bin. So we should be able to expect high performance from it. Okay, so that's the original BLF A6 on its highest output. Still a very very bright light. Like don't get me wrong. That is super super bright. That's on my backyard, like easy. These have been pretty much like my go-to lights now for years. Like I EDC this light quite a bit, even though it's not a uh, in my EDC bag, it sits inside my pocket. So I'll keep the uh, the that's the original XPL A6 on. We'll turn on the other one. Okay, so that's the uh, the um, BLF A6 with the XPL2, and that's the uh, BLF A6 with the standard XPL, but that just stepped down. So yeah, you can see side by side, it doesn't look like a huge difference, but let's just say if I take off one of the lights, that's the backyard with just the um, XPL2, and that's the backyard with the um, XPL. So no huge difference, but we'll go and we'll take a... Um, Ceiling bounce test once the batteries settle down a bit and we'll see how they do side by side. Okay guys, so now we're in the shed. I've got on my um, S2 Plus with a triple uh, SST 20s in it. Um, I've got a video on that coming out. I was supposed to be out like last week, but I've been fucking around. I know every week I tell you guys something different. But yeah. Um, so we're basically just going to do a ceiling bounce test. Um, it's not as calibrated as my old one used to be. Because I had my old test calibrated at... Um, 60 lumens, no, sorry, 60 lux equaled a thousand lumens, but, um, this table is a little bit higher up to the ceiling than the old table, so it's not going to be quite as calibrated, so, but just in hindsight, it's going to kind of blind you guys, but let me put the camera over here, so I'll do all tests equal, so I'll put, you can see this is the torch here, I'll put the torch on the edge of the, um, table, and I'll hold them there, so that they're both even, and I'll leave the uh, lux meters in the same spot for all of these tests. Um, first off, we'll do this uh, triple SST20, and we'll see what that gets in the ceiling bounce test. That should be about direct drive there. You can see the difference between the lux meters. Very big difference, actually, over 10 lux difference. But, uh, yeah, well, actually, one is closer to the light source than the other, so you would expect that, I guess. Um, next up, we'll do the standard XPL, and we'll see what that gets. 
Oh, it's burning my fingers. I'm going to have to turn off the light for a sec, guys. Don't mind me in the dark. I'll try not to touch you. Oh, while we're here, and I've got the light off, let me just strip. Look at that green tail cap. It's awesome, eh? <laughs> Turn the light on, sir. Okay, so I'm holding this one and it's like, ah, oh, it's burning my damn hands. Okay, so that should be about direct drive there. Um, my old system was calibrated to the old way, to that old lux meter, the one furthest to your left. So um, that's saying about 84. So that's not too bad. 84, 85, wherever that you point it. So yeah, um, that's still pretty good. Even compared to the old system, that would still be about, well, almost 1500 lumens. So not bad. I did measure this at 1550 ages ago, so um, just to show you guys that there isn't too much variance between how I'm measuring it now and my other system. Okay, I'm going to turn the light off again. Check out the towel cap on the um, XPL2 one. That side's blue and that side's green. This light's still boiling hot. Two, three, four, five. That's only on level five, six, seven. So you can see it's getting like a crazy amount of light out there. That's like 121 lux. Like what was that triple doing? The triple was only doing like 150. So if we go by the old system, it's measuring over 2,000 lumens. Um, 60 lux per 1,000 lumens. Yeah, over 2,000 lumens. Um, I don't have this one calibrated because I haven't used it that much yet. But uh, yeah. Um, I'll turn the camera off and we'll try that triple again because this is actually a very good score for the uh, XPL. Okay, so this is the uh, Luminous SST 20s in the triple. It's one, two, it's mode three. Oh, so the furthest one just got 172 start up. So that, yeah, that is a lot more than the um, XPL, but not a crazy amount. So that's not bad. Um, we'll take both of these lights, actually all three of these lights back outside and get some more beam shots, see how they do side by side. Alright guys, now we've got the um, SST20 S2 Plus triple on, on its lowest mode. Um, this has got a different driver to the A6 drivers. Not as powerful, so don't expect like major output, but it should still perform pretty well. It's still over 3000 lumens. That's mode 2. And that's mode 3. You can see like how much light it puts out and how wide the beam is. Look at how wide the beam is. Freaking absolutely huge beam. Eh, I don't think the um, A6 will have much to compete with. So A6 on this side with the uh, XPL2 and the uh, triples here. So yeah, the triples are still heaps brighter. But the A6 does uh, quite a good job. You can see a tint difference too, even though they're both full. This is a neutral white, and this is a cold white. So, there's a tint difference. Um, overall tint quality of the uh, XPL2 is actually pretty good. Um, if I show you guys somewhere else, maybe on the grass, you'll be able to see. Um, the tint does vary. Once you start to use the FET in this driver, um, the tint does become a lot wider. So, you're exciting the phosphorus layer a lot more. And that makes the tint like a lot wider. So if I can show you right now on the grass. So like right now it's kind of a warmer looking tint. I don't know if you guys will be able, able to tell. I'm just guessing here. So it's kind of warmer. And then once you move up modes, it becomes a lot more white. So right now it looks pretty warm. It's still warm. And once you move up here, it becomes a lot whiter. So the tint does shift uh, once you put in a bit more power, but that's to kind of be expected. Anyway, this light's starting to burn my hand, so I'm going to go back inside. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a quick beam shot video, nothing special. Um, as always, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.